Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Target haul for you guys. I went to Target on yesterday, which was Saturday, and I picked up a few items. I went in there for body wash and multivitamins, and of course I had to go down the self-care and makeup aisle and pick up a few other things because what is a trip to Target without seeing what new self-care slash makeup items that they have. Let's go ahead and dive in. It's not a lot, but it is some cool stuff and I got some stuff to do some reviews. So I'm super excited to try out some new makeup. So let's go ahead and get into L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. Concealer, I got the shade 385 Amber and this is how it looks. Super excited to wear this and to see if I like it. I'm not gonna tell you guys if I like it or if I don't just yet, you guys gotta come back and see the video. Um, so let's just go ahead and just get all the makeup out of the way. So I also picked up another concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I picked this up because you guys know that this one is one of my absolute favorite concealers, but I was out of the color that I use for my eyeshadow primer and just to also just conceal under my eyes and highlight. So I wanted to get another one. Um, I do have like a yellow one and I've got like just a little bit of like I think almond but this is medium beige which is my favorite color the perfect color for me so I really love this concealer I hate getting it at Target because it's five dollars but I didn't feel like going to the hair store where it's like two or three dollars so I'm just like I'll just pay five for it grab one it lasts a long time and it is my absolute favorite so grab another one of these I'm obsessed with concealers like if you guys have not noticed yet like I love trying new concealers I really do I need to do like a concealer like collection or showdown or something. Okay, so I also picked up two foundations. I picked up the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Um, I got this in the shade, where is it? 520. Um, I don't see a name for the color and I forgot the name that was on the thing, but I got shade 520. So excited to try this foundation. I've been hearing great things about it and I cannot wait to give it a go. So definitely gonna be doing a first impressions and wear test on this one as well. The second foundation that I got is the infamous L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. And I am so excited. I've been on YouTube for so long and I have never tried this foundation. I always look at it and I get overwhelmed because it is like so many shade ranges and normally it's pretty easy for me to pick my shade at the at the drugstore i'm 355 coconut in every single maybelline foundation i'm normally either the last or the one before last when it comes to revlon foundations um l'oreal foundations pretty easy you know so i really don't struggle finding my foundation shade but with the l'oreal true match i was just absolutely overwhelmed and i was like i want to try this foundation but it's just too much going on too many colors and you know there was never really like a tester anywhere but i finally said let me grab a shade let me just give it a go and i got this shit i got the shade spice latte w9 in warm so i do have warm undertones and i was like i think this is going to be a pretty cool color um if not i can always darken it up a little bit with my bronzer and stuff but i think it's a little bit it's a little lighter than this one but if i need to i can always mix and match and all that good stuff so i am really excited to try this foundation this foundation has been out forever and it's been an og and i'm super excited to do a review on you guys to see if it really is worth the hype that everybody says you guys know that this was nicole guerrero's favorite foundation back in the day and i wanted to try it even back then but never got a chance to so super excited to finally have that in my collection and to give it a try and so three more yeah three more makeup items so i also got a brush and this is the elf ultimate blending brush i've been using this brush for so long and the one that i have finally died on me the top came off um like the little part with actually holds the brush that part came off it's shedding but i've had it for so many years and i've used it over and over and over so i was like let me just grab a new brush this brush is like literally it's it's an airbrush brush this stuff makes your foundation look so smooth and flawless it covers up your pores i didn't use it today i don't know why i'm looking in the mirror but i love this brush and i love how it has your skin looking it is perfect to blend out any trouble foundations that you feel are maybe a little too matte and you need 
help to kind of blight it over your face. I think this brush is amazing. So, and it was $8. I remember it being like five elf. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're a little expensive elf, but it's okay because you can still get it because elf makes amazing makeup. But this brush is awesome. So if you're in Target, Walmart, whatever, definitely give that brush a try. It's a really, really good foundation brush. I also picked up the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. You guys know that I have the regular poreless one, and I like it. It's not like the world's best primer, but I do like it. I like the consistency, and I like how it has my skin looking and feeling prepped for my foundation. But I heard someone on TikTok talk about the uh, Matte Putty Primer and I wanted to try it because you guys know that I have combination skin. It's kind of going more on the dry side now, but I still do get oily in my T-zone, so I still love a good matte primer. And then you guys know that I love e.l.f. primers. I just did a video on all of my e.l.f. primers, um, and I talked about them and ranked them like my favorite and all that good stuff, so I'll have that video linked down below and also in the cards as well. So you guys can go check that out, but I'm super excited to give this a try and let you guys know how I like it. The last makeup product that I got is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is in the shade Medium, and you guys know that I'm obsessed, absolutely obsessed with setting powders. I used to love the e.l.f. HD Setting Powder. That used to be my jam, but I ran out and I just never bought another one. So I saw this one and it said that it sets makeup and creates a soft focus blurred finish. And I'm all about blurring these pores and these lines. So I definitely wanted to give it a try. They did have the deep, which I really wanted to try, but they had the medium and I said that I can use that to set under my eyes. So look out for a review on this as well. Okay, so that was all of the makeup. Now let's get into the body care items. I picked up some Too Faced because currently I use Crest um, toothpaste and it's okay, but I, it, my teeth are getting more and more sensitive by the minute and I'm just frustrated with it um, because I like to drink smoothies and all kind of stuff like that. And I just need something that um, can help my, help my teeth not be so sensitive. So I grabbed some Sensodyne. Can you see it? I grabbed some Sensodyne Pro Enamel toothpaste. And this is just in the daily protection. It says, protects from wine acids, fruit acids, soda acids, strengthens and rehardens enamels, protects against the effect of acid erosion, toothpaste for sensitive teeth and cavity prevention. So can't go wrong with it. Let me know down below if you guys like Sensodyne or if you use another sensitive toothpaste, let me know down below and let me know how you like that as well. Okay, so I also got a big, huge tube of Vaseline. Vaseline has changed their labeling. It's a little more vintage and I love everything about it. If you guys know me, I, you know that I love anything that is old school, nostalgic, or vintage that reminds me of like old makeup or old Hollywood and I love the way that this looks. I would love to have this in like a glass jar or something. I would probably never use it but I just got some Vaseline because I've been using Vaseline on my skin. Um, I am going to have to do a video but I went and used like a bunch of different skin products and I was trying to find like a good skincare routine and my skin just completely went left field um, I'll have to come and do a whole video about it I was trying like the ordinary I was trying different clean and clear cleansers I was trying um, uh, CeraVe cleansers just everything aloe vera I was trying everything and my skin just went absolutely crazy so I have just been using one facial wash micellar water to take off the dirt and the oils and then I'll either use my CeraVe moisturizer or some Vaseline I've just been keeping it super simple so I grabbed a big one because you can just never have enough Vaseline it's good for your hands your feet your elbows your skin your face everything so Gotta keep some Vaseline. We have a small one, but I wanted to grab a huge one. Okay, getting down to the last few products, I got two body washes, and they're by Caress. You guys know that I love the soft soap. I've been buying those, but Target didn't have any soft soap, or either I couldn't see it. I don't know, but I don't think they had any. Um, so I just grabbed the Caress because this is also some that people um, have been uh, recommending as well that they use in their self-care uh, routines and showers. So I grabbed the Caress Lotus in Copaiba, Copaiba, Co Copaiba, I don't know, somebody tell me how to say that. Copaiba oil or Copaiba oil for calm and comfort. And this is the purple one and y'all, 
This smells absolutely amazing. This smells so good. Just by the smell of it, I'm excited to use it. So I'm really excited to use it in the shower. Um, we normally just use Dove and that works well for us, but um, I have been venturing out into other body washes and I just love everything about it. So I'm glad that I'm trying new ones. Um, so this also one is the Caress Daily Silk White Peach and Orange Blossom. And I used the Soft Soap Orange Blossom one and I really love how that one smells. So. This one smells so amazing. I love this one for probably like in the morning. Um, I would definitely use this one and this one definitely for nighttime. This one just kind of wanna put you to sleep. This one really wakes you up. So I really like this one and I cannot wait to try them out. The last two products, I got some vitamins. This is just a multivitamin for her. Um, this is just the regular Nature, Braid, Nature Made brand and it just says 23 key nutrients for daily nutritional support includes iron and calcium and it's 120 tablets um let's see how they look i'm not suggesting that anybody take vitamins if you have not consulted with your doctor um so please do not take this as me recommending vitamins i am not recommending vitamins to any of my viewers i am not i am not i am not <laughs> um so these are just what i take and what makes me feel good and healthy but here they are this is how they look and they're pretty huge so they don't stink which is good because some vitamins really stink so excited to try these um i was using just the regular gummies and for some reason i just i can't vibe with the gummies so i just was like i'll try these and i'm excited to give them a go and lastly i got some allegra because my allergies are a hot mess um, I've had allergy issues for quite some time. It's been just ridiculous. So I have to keep Allegra with me, my sinuses and everything. Also, um, it had like a coupon on it. So that was lit as well, $3 off. And I just got the big one this time, the 31, because I normally buy like the smaller ones, but I'm like, I don't, I'm, I don't feel like getting out anymore or running out. I've been out for a few months and I've just been <laughs> absolutely over it. So I got the big thing of Allegra and I'm super excited about it. So yes, you guys, that was everything that I got from Target. Just a small little haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys are excited to see any of the reviews that I'm going to be doing um, so far. Let me know if you guys like the Caress um, body wash and the Sensodyne toothpaste and all that good stuff. And also let me know if you guys are back into using Vaseline. My mom never stops. She loves it and her skin looks absolutely amazing. So I'm really excited to just use Vaseline and kind of keep it moving. So let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for joining me for a, another video. Do not forget to hit subscribe. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers. Last time I looked, we were at 1,920. So do not forget to hit subscribe, become a part of the Indie Fam. We would love to have you over here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!